Elizabeth Green, Building a Better Teacher, How Teaching Works, and How to Teach It to Everyone. Embark on an insightful exploration of the evolution of teaching through Elizabeth Green's Building a Better Teacher, How Teaching Works, and How to Teach It to Everyone. Delve into the worlds of pioneers in U.S. educational research, like Nate Gage, Lee Shulman, and Eric Hanischek. Discover their fascinating ideas on teaching methods, cognitivism, and teacher accountability. Join Magdalene Lampert and Deborah Lowenberg Ball as they strive to transform Spartan Village into a teaching laboratory and uncover the impact of cultural factors on learning from comparing studies in the US, China, and Japan. Finally, learn about the birth of the strict charter school movement and the limitations of behavioral policies. Revolutionizing Education Research In the early 1900s, teaching in America was unregulated, with little research available on how to teach teachers. However, pioneers such as Nate Gage, Lee Shulman, and Eric Hanischek had rich ideas about teaching even though they weren't teachers themselves. Gage created a formal study of the science of teaching, which resulted in the publication of the Handbook of Research on Teaching. Shulman became fascinated with teachers' classroom timing and focused on cognitivism. Hanischek became interested in education after studying a research study by James Coleman, leading to his thesis and future influence in the field, where he made the case for teacher accountability. Hanischek discovered that teachers had a significant influence on student performance, arguing that how well teachers teach should align with their pay and seniority. This revolutionized education research and is still relevant today. Teaching Beyond Limits Magdalene Lampert and Deborah Lowenberg Ball, two educators at Spartan Village School, Michigan, developed this kind of teaching, TKO, to help students from diverse backgrounds excel in mathematics. Lampert's technique involved encouraging participation, even if a student provided an incorrect answer. She applauded that at least, they were thinking mathematically. On the other hand, Ball focused on conjecturing her answers by questioning whether a mathematical proof was true. Despite the challenges, they worked together to transform Spartan Village into a teaching laboratory and develop TKOT to help students stay on task, have better discussions, and learn math more efficiently. This unique teaching style results in a more equitable educational experience for students of all backgrounds. Engaging Teaching Techniques Pam Grossman's research on teachers in struggling urban areas reveals that effective English teachers use encouraging techniques to inspire active participation in students. By embodying the correct behavior and providing prompts, teachers like Peter Williamson and Yvonne Divans Hutchinson prompt students to think critically about the text they are studying and encourage peer involvement. Grossman's research shows that teenagers are more receptive to feedback from their peers. Hutchinson's approach to varying the degrees of difficulty of questions aims to sustain interest in students and engage them in their own frames of reference. Effective English teachers are seen to be able to generate student participation through engagement and interaction. The Teaching Gap In the book, The Teaching Gap, James Stigler and Harold Stevenson compare how children learn in China, Japan, and the U.S. They found that 73% of Japanese six-year-olds scored higher than the average American child, with cultural factors like how children spend their time at school and home playing a role. The third International Mathematics and Science Study, TMSS, showed Japanese teachers didn't announce their lesson plans before teaching, while American teachers asked simpler questions with easier answers. Japanese instructors have Jugyo Kenkyu, which covers their methods of improving as teachers. Unlike America's focus on standards, Japanese teachers observe how others teach, discuss lesson plans, and study curriculum materials with colleagues. The book challenges the U.S. education system's failure to address the bigger picture and prioritize teacher training and improvement. A Call to Reform Education Frustrated with the dysfunction of U.S. education, Doug Lemma founded charter schools to provide students with discipline and an excellent education. Along with Stacy Boyd, he founded the Academy of the Pacific Rim, 
where they emphasized discipline through a school uniform and taught ambitious subjects such as international finance, Mandarin, and Tai Chi. These ideals were also mirrored in other charter schools such as Roxbury Prep in Boston, New Orleans Charter Middle School, and KIPP in Houston and New York City. By acting as if their schools were already successful, these charter entrepreneurs have transformed education for the better. Transforming Teaching Practices Doug Lemov, a pioneer in effective teaching techniques. Doug Lemov, after leaving APR, collaborated with Karen Sishan at the diagnostic testing firm School Performance, where they developed and published their effective teaching practices. In his book, Taxonomy of Effective Teaching Practices, they introduced students to specific work instructions rather than targeting individuals for bad behavior, one of the 49 areas of practice. Lemov and Sishan's innovative thinking also included the 100% and stretch it goals, which aimed to engage 100% of the student body and improve their problem solving skills. During the same period, there emerged an intense charter school movement in the U.S., yet some critics felt that its focus on discipline may have come at the cost of diminishing students' independence and personal freedom. Similarly, the zero tolerance approach in public schools wasn't as effective as intended according to a 2008 research summary by the American Psychological Association, APA. The report mentioned that schools with higher rates of suspension and expulsion spent less time on productive teaching, and zero-tolerance policies could negatively impact students' mental health. Lemov saw effective teaching as more than just story time on the floor, he believed it was the highest form of knowledge. His teaching techniques provided a concrete, shared vocabulary, and practical approach, something that the educational system continues to benefit from today. Transforming Teacher Education The American education system has been grappling with its inability to provide adequate support and infrastructure to teachers. In 2002, the government passed the No Child Left Behind NCLB, Act to establish national standards and accountability. However, the act was hard to implement in public schools. Teacher training and the quality of teachers themselves were found to be of paramount importance in student performance. Economists Tom Kane and Douglas Steiger found that individual teachers had a greater impact on students than the school they were in. However, previous methods used to identify and reward good teachers were ineffective. Teacher certification and graduate-level education didn't necessarily produce top-rated teachers. Schools needed to think more carefully about how they sorted, rewarded, and let go of teachers after hiring them to generate a significant change. Michigan University's Teacher Education Initiative tried to revolutionize teacher training, inspired by national education movements like the Common Core Standards. Despite disagreements on specifics, 45 states and Washington, D.C., adopted the Common Core by late 2013. The American education system needs to prioritize teacher training and develop better strategies to identify and reward good teachers to improve student performance. In Building a Better Teacher, Elizabeth Green masterfully unravels the complexities of teaching methodologies, presenting innovative ideas from key figures in the field of education. The book highlights the importance of teacher accountability, cultural factors in learning, and the development of new teaching practices. Additionally, the author explores challenges in implementing new education policies and the significance of teacher support. By delving into the transformational journey of teaching and learning, Green leaves the reader with an inspiring understanding of how to create better teachers and improve educational outcomes.